Good morning year 10s and 11s, Coach Kevin here. I will be leading a, your first fitness lesson for this week. Um, we're going to section in four sections. The first section will be a flow and dynamic warm-up. Then we'll go into an interval training, followed by a strength training program. And finally, we'll do a CR7 challenge. So the equipment needed for this routine is going to be quite easy. We're going to do all exercises within the house because we know we can't access parks, gyms, etc. Therefore, the equipment we'll be needing is a yoga mat. If we do not have a yoga mat, then we use a towel instead. We need two pairs of shoes, a pillow, um, a chair, finally a water bottle. Remember, always stay hydrated. So, um, let's begin with your flow. All you have to do is watch what I'm doing and try and copy it to the best of your potential. Let's begin. Tucking your chins in, bring it down nice and easy, opening up your spine, hold it for a second, hold it up low, open up, walk your spine in the work, up by it. Remember no side of movement, so we'll show it from the side. Down, fold it down, up with dog again. Start from here, get the right leg over into spinal mat position and open the spine again. Nice and easy rotations, five on each side. Try and touch your elbow, the ground, left leg down, sit back, and change leg, one, two, three, four, five, elbows down, sit back, Right leg, and open and stretch your hamstring. Right here, follow through with the right leg into a squat position. Nice and easy. Hands on the floor, three seconds up. Three, two, one. Back again into that squat position. This time, left leg down, opening up the thoracic spine again. Good. Three on each side. You're going to feel a strong burn in your quadriceps. Final breath. Put your hand on the floor. Pancake and then come up. So with this we'll do a balance work. Right leg forward, kick back. One, two, three, change leg. One. Nice and easy 
pitch. Stretch. Change. And the balance. One. Change. Change. Flow done. Now we'll go into a dynamic warm up. This is to raise your heart rate, get the blood flow going before we enter into that tough high intensity session. So let's begin. Opening up the gates, nice and easy. Most of you playing team sports must have seen this exercise. At common. Change inside, rotate those hips. Change, kick out. Change to the side, to the side. Back. Angle touches. Chest to knees, knees to chest. And there we go. That's our dynamic warm up. Have a sip of water. So, the high intensity session, we will have high knees, burpees, shoe ladders, and cross jumps. We're doing it for five rounds 20 second work, 10 second rest. Step to the side, nice and easy. And relax. Taking deep breaths, make sure you're recovering. Round. Keep the work. And relax. Last and final round. Let's go. Timing that 
and relax. That's our high knees done. Now we're going for burpees. This is going to be a tough one. And count the number of burpees you do. For example, I did 10, and I'm going to try and keep hitting 10. Awesome job, two more rounds. Shoe ladders, place a shoe. Hello. Two more three to go. Ah, got that on camera. Good job. Oh my god. Was not running away. Last one. Come 
Uh, oh. Where's the beat with that? I'm going to do. Keep going. Keep going. That's nice to work. But we keep going. And relax. Now we'll go on the cross jumps. Say hi to Mr. Shark. Keep Mr. Shark about there. So what we're doing is Boys, is the Tabata session done? Great stuff. Have to get a bit of water. As you can see, that was really tough, but it's really good in terms of maintaining those high levels of fitness. While we all know during this period we've been sitting down a lot. So the only way to combat that and decrease sedentary time is to get involved and do such sessions. It's going to improve your mood, it's going to improve um, your concentration levels and also help you to sleep better. Right. So as you see there, I did five rounds. However, that is not the criteria. The minimum rounds is anywhere from two to three rounds. Okay? So on the Monday, if you've done two rounds, then on the Wednesday, leaving one day in the middle, you try and aim for three rounds. And then on the Friday, you try and aim for five rounds. Therefore increasing your cardiometabolic rate. Or as they say, your cardiovascular fitness okay now it's going to be a low intensity however we still focus to improve something and in this case it's then it's really important that we load the joints in order to prevent any injuries in the future so we have push-ups squats tricep dips and lunges 
As you can see, we have three sets of 10 repetitions on the push-ups. Same for the squats. However, tricep dips are three sets into eight repetitions. And finally, lunges is three sets, five on each side, which means five on each leg. Okay? What we're going to do here is pair an upper body exercise with a lower body exercise and complete this whole routine. Now I'm going to pair push-ups and squats. That is my liking. You can pair push-ups with lunges and tricep dips with squats. It doesn't matter. The idea is you do one upper body followed by one lower body. Right. So. Let's go with push-ups. Three sets of ten. Nice and easy. Arms nice and wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Followed by squats. Nice and easy. Arms on the shoulder. Arms on the hips. However you like. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax it to there. We will take anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds of rest. Side, arms and shoulder. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great stuff. Here. We're going to last half push-ups. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same squats. One, two, three. Second rest, nice and easy, deep breath, have a sip, or a cargo. Bring your chair, make sure that the chair has no rollers at the end. Because what we're trying to do is, placing the chair, sitting on it, either we go straight legs, or we can fold. As I said, it doesn't really matter. You can start with the folded legs and then by the end of the week, try and aim for um, straight legs. So, and before um, I said that no rollers is because if you go back and it rolls, you can end up hurting your shoulder joint pretty bad. So make sure we are quite vigilant of all the equipment we're using. But, Five step dips, three sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Work. Lunges. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. 
Last time I did lunges, one leg and then did the other. This time we can do alternate legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure when you're going down, please do not smash your kneecap onto the floor. Again, that can lead to an injury you don't want to be dealing with. training sorry high intensity interval training and the strength training block now we come on to the most fun part of this lesson is the Cristiano Ronaldo core challenge is done for 45 seconds Make sure you have a watch so you can time the 45 seconds. Have your mat. Have your mat nice and easy. Have a sip. Make sure you go into this core challenge after your heart rate has come down um, just because you want to give your best performance. We've done all this which has also taxed our core muscles so you might be feeling a bit sore so I don't mind you completing this challenge um, during another time of the day. You can do it multiple times and then on Friday take the final video However, make sure that we do this. And let's try and give Cristiano a fair bit of competition. So all we're doing is going into this position with our legs up and our fingers are going to try and touch our toes. So that's a touch, that's a touch, that's a touch. That's a touch. That is how um, the challenge is going to look like. <sighs> nice and easy. Oh. 
So, my score here is 44 reps. And now your challenge is to try and beat me. Um, also, um, I think Cristiano, Cristiano's record is 130 or something. So let's say 100. That just puts into perspective how fit Cristiano is really. But let's try and beat me. So that's the end of this lesson guys. Hope you stay safe. Um, eat healthy, sleep, make sure you're drinking a, lot, drinking a lot of water, try and aim to do at least three sessions of this put, um, throughout the week, and there you have it guys, enjoy!